what's happening YouTube players this is uh, Clint Kramer and we're gonna do uh, some ground lessons today it's really snowy outside so uh, we're not gonna do any flying so uh, let's do some ground school which is so uh, exciting I'm sure uh, so uh, basically just wanna and a lot of the stuff we're gonna do I'm gonna try to do it so somebody at home um, you know that may or may not have a lot of funds for flying can learn everything about flying for on the cheap so uh, that's uh, the purpose of these videos is to kind of uh, let somebody uh, like myself when I started learning I didn't have a whole lot of money or any money um, and I really wanted to learn about aviation and I didn't have uh, you know I didn't know anybody in aviation and I wanted to uh, learn about it and I didn't have a whole lot of opportunities so uh, that that's what we're gonna try and uh, do here uh, that and, and just save other people that want to do it just a, a little bit of money so we're gonna do some uh, ground instruction here um, basically all you want to do um, is go onto Google and you want to download uh, a Jepson private pilot syllabus uh, it's free just Google it upload it I have it up here I'm on page uh, 36 which is the uh, first ground lesson. We're gonna do ground lesson one and ground lesson two. Uh, first, we're gonna talk about, uh, here's some of the uh, aviation careers and uh, talk about flying experiences and stuff like that. Just uh, kind of give you a, uh, an idea of what it's like, what kind of careers, what kind of stuff uh, you can do. I um, Some of the careers I'm just gonna go over because I've done quite a few uh, flight careers. Uh, I've been a flight instructor for a few years. Uh, probably logged five, six hundred hours of uh, flight instruction. I've been an air tour pilot uh, in the Grand Canyon. So I flew people uh, into the Grand Canyon, down to the bottom, dirt strips. Uh, super fun uh, flying into these dirt strips. And it's one way in and one way out. So uh, you can't go around so if you're flying you're 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 going in for a landing um, you can't actually uh, abort your landing or you'll you'll hit a side of a cliff uh, which I, I mean it sounds you know dangerous but really I mean if, if you do it enough and you practice enough it's very very safe uh, but uh, that's some of the things I have done so I'm gonna take a look at some of the aircraft because uh, that is the uh, the fun part here of, the, of uh, learning about this stuff. So this is one of the aircraft I flew. Um, great plane, holds lots of people. Uh, you can see here it's got like a cargo door. So uh, that's one of the you know jobs that you can get being an air tour pilot, bush pilot. Um, you know some of the planes that you'll fly doing that is is you know either this Cessna here uh, or uh, I even got a little bit of time in a Cessna uh, 208 which is a turboprop and uh, just trying to make this I'm not gonna go into details in these planes just kinda make, make it a basic uh, overview uh, as easy as possible um, flight instruction mainly flew or you know your, your typical Cessna which is your uh, Cessna 172 and I'll get a picture up here this is uh, a lot of flight instruction is done in in, in Cessna or Piper uh, Piper will have you know your basic trainer it's great for learning it's great for uh, you know, families, baggage, going from place to place. The, as a flight instructor, these are some of the planes you'll absolutely fly in. Um, I have time in all kinds of different smaller aircraft. Uh, there's Grumman makes planes, Cessna, Piper, Beechcraft, uh, but I've flown all those aircraft, uh, you know, multiple, uh, you know, styles of airplanes in that uh, for those different manufacturers but 
But those are some of the things you do. Well, uh, how do you get there? So how, how do you become, how do you start out flying and get a job? Uh, first is, you know, your education. And a lot of people think, well, you know, it's so expensive. How can I do it? Um, you know, there's always a way to do it. If you don't stop, you'll eventually get it completed. I didn't have, you know, I started, uh, didn't have a whole lot of funds. I didn't have really any, uh, but I went and got, you know, student loans. Um, and that really propelled my aviation uh, career. Uh, but, you know, those are available uh, scholarships. There's, there's just something you can do. You know, I worked and went to school at the same time. And that really absolutely helped me afford all this. Uh, but uh, again, aviation uh, right now uh, is a little bit different than when I started. Um, now there's huge demand for it. Um, so um, if way more demand than in the next few years than I've probably ever seen in my lifetime. I started flying in 93, uh, graduated uh, college in 97, uh, and then started flight instruction, went and did the air tours in uh, the Grand Canyon, which is a great way to build hours. You only needed, uh, at the time, 500 total hours to start that. Um, and then I went from uh, air tour to uh, flying this bad boy, which is the Piper Navajo. Most of my 2,500 hours are in this type of aircraft. And this was flying cargo, UPS cargo. Uh, and I flew a lot um, at night in the mountains, flying to minimums, single pilot, good fun. Uh, and you can see here some of the cockpit layout. Most of the uh, equipment I had at the time, uh, we didn't really have, that was probably in the 2000. Um, but, you know, a lot of what we were doing was all 1940s and 1950s technology flying down to minimums. Minimum, What minimums are, are, um, you, you know, you'll have certain set of of weather related information that you must have in order to fly into an airport um, and then the minimums is considered what the minimum you're allowed to land uh, so uh, a lot of that flying the Navajo in there um, and I flew into a lot of mountain like Durango Colorado Grand Junction but a lot of mountains nights probably have 1500 hours of uh, that um, but great experience uh, you don't get paid a whole lot but you're flying you know you know I couldn't rent this um, you know this plane and, and build hours in it because there's it, just no amount of uh, money that would be able to afford that so it's a great way some of these jobs don't pay a whole lot but you get in return is experience just like a, a doctor or um, you know where you have to go and intern before you can you know get paid the, the good money but the same thing in aviation um, you know there's definitely jobs out there there's more jobs out there now with this pilot shortage um, I know the University of uh, I think it was North Dakota did a study and said you, you know how bad the pilot shortage is gonna be here in the next few years so um, you know it's a great time to get in uh, and now, you know, some of these smaller airlines, uh, we call um, regional airlines, you, you can start at like $60,000, which is incredible. Um, I know when I was first starting out, uh, you know, that same job paid like fifteen to 18000 So starting at 60000 is fantastic. The reason behind that, not enough pilots, pilot shortage. So... Um, there we have it. So, um, lots of careers. I mean, there's all kinds of things you can do in aviation and you don't, not necessarily everything has to be flying. There's, there's airport management. 
There's air traffic controller. My brother's an air traffic controller uh, for, for years now, um, and he loves that. Uh, so there's, there's really a lot to do in aviation. Uh, but once that bug bites you, it's hard to <laughs> not want to be not around it all the time. So, um, but there's definitely careers to start. You, you know, a great place too is, you, you know, just doing aircraft refueling at your small local airport. You learn a lot, make a lot of contacts. Um, you, you know, a great uh, way to emerge yourself into aviation. You learn so much about the different style types of planes that come in um, that you can refuel. You learn all, I mean, the, uh, a lot of that, uh, my education as far as types of planes and knowing what type of plane it is, it, it really came from working at the airport refueling airplanes um, and a lot of contacts. Free flight hours, you'll, you can get to know people, they'll wanna take you up. Um, if there's, you know, if a fueler at my airport I uh, wanted to go up and fly, you know, without a doubt, I'd take them in a heartbeat. So it's a great way to get free flight time, free education, uh, while you're making a little money fueling planes. So there are some um, some information about planes but uh, and careers in aviation and how good the industry is going to be here now that we uh, are seeing this pilot shortage and kind of want to... Uh, what I'm trying to do is just kind of give back a little bit uh, to aviation because it's given me so much. Um, it just makes everything else uh, in life, a lot of stuff you learn about aviation, you use it in everyday life for the rest of your life. Uh, once you get maybe something like your flight instructor certificate, uh, everything else in life seems easy. So just really... Um, you know, expand your your life. Even if, if you don't get a career in aviation, just just learning you know the information about uh, aviation really helps you out in every other aspect um, in life. So uh, I, it's just a you know great knowledge to have. Um, so now now we're going to jump into and you can follow along in that Jepson syllabus. And again, you can download that for free. Uh, just Google Jepson private pilot syllabus it'll come up we're doing ground lesson one we talked a little bit about that um, and now we're gonna go on to our ground lesson number two which we're gonna talk about uh, the training process private pilot requirements and privileges additional ratings and certificates so uh, some more great information that you can get for free is just to go in and Google uh, federal Aviation Administration FAR FAR, which is Federal Air Regulations by the F Federal uh, Aviation Administration. Um, but great resource, completely free. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on that, and we're going to go over some of uh, the information. So right now I'm in Part uh, 61. You can see here. Uh, so. Uh, once you have it open, you want to go to part 61 and everything as far as rules that you need to know about aviation, r right here. You can always go and look at it anytime for free. Uh, so the question that I want to come up with is, well, what are the requirements to get a private pilot certif certificate? So all you have to do is Google the federal air regulations. That's part uh, 61 and then we're gonna go down here and we're gonna go to you can tell there's there's different uh, ratings here aircraft ratings pilot uh, student pilot recreational pilot private pilot we're gonna go to private pilot but we're gonna touch on recreational pilot and sport pilot also so uh, so let's see well what what are the requirements well, eligibility requirements general. So all we do is just click on here. Uh, so here are some of the things. Well, what what's required? What do I have to have? Well, you have to be 16 years of age. Uh, and be able to read, speak English. Receive logbook instruction or certification from an instructor. 
um, and it goes in through everything. Now the syllabus that we're following is what this is. So the syllabus just kind of breaks it out into certain sections, but it it's going to cover all the information that's required in the Federal Air Aviation Regulations. So uh, you can go through here and see what, well, how old, you know, can I be 14? Well, you can't be, uh, you need to be 17, at least 17 to be uh, a pilot. Uh, to actually have a private pilot certificate, you can train before that. You just have to be at least 17 years of age uh, to hold that um, position. Um, and then it's going to go in through, well, here's the kind of knowledge that you're going to have. And then, then the syllabus is going to break this all out for us. So we're going to go step by step, go all the way through it. Um, here, so this is the knowledge you got to have, flight proficiency some of the things you have to do in the air. Uh, you, you'll have to show this at the end to a uh, to get signed off on your private pilot certificate. But you can go through and just kind of take a look at what, what kind of things you're going to do. And I know this is uh, a lot, but the, the syllabus will break it down step by step. Uh, you know, they always say, well, what, um, you know, I know it, it looks... Uh, really hard to go you know from let's say California to New York well that's a really long distance but you don't need to know that whole long distance you only need to see you know a few steps in front of you if you can see a few steps in front of you and that's all you see you can make it from California to New York no problem so that's all we're, we want to you know just a few steps at a time and that and that's what we're gonna do here um, so how, how about how many flight hours is required of 40 uh, total flight hours are required, uh, 20 hours from a flight instructor, uh, 10 hours they'll be solo, and now these are minimums, but we're, we're, what we're going to work on is try to get you right at the minimums. So, uh, so you're not spending uh, 80 hours to get your private pilot certificate and costing you twice as much money. We're trying to save you as much money as possible, so um, you know, starting out reading these federal aviation regulations is perfect. So these are some of the, uh, the knowledge that you'll you'll need to know. But before you're, uh, if you're following me and, and you have an instructor, you, um, you'll want to, you know, if, if you knew this before your first instruction, like these two lessons that I'm doing now, if you knew what the federal aviation regulations are, if you knew what a private pilot syllabus, if you knew what the private pilot uh, requirements are, they're going to be amazed. And if you did that a little bit before every ground lesson or flight lesson that you just knew a little bit, it, it'll save you tons of money. So we want to get you in at 40 hours. We, we don't want you to be at 80 hours because you're going to save a whole lot of money. You can use that extra money on more flight training. You can use it, you know, obviously to save, but we want to make this so uh, it's as easy as possible for you. That, that's the whole uh, meaning of, uh, of what we're trying to do. So, and, and again, all this is free. All, everything can be downloaded. Um, so here's some of the, the flight requirements as you, you just go right through, just go on, uh, study right through that. Uh, you know, and they, I know it's a lot here, but, uh, and a lot of this is like, this is for, uh, for helicopter rating. This is for gyroplane. Uh, multi-engine but all we want to know is for a single pilot engine rating because that's what we're working on um, so how how about um, you, know, you wanted to fly and you want certification you just want to do a whole 40 hours well uh, good thing for uh, the federal aviation regulation they've come out with uh, different certificates to fly a plane uh, solo or, or with a friend um, so uh, let's say you wanted to s save some money and didn't want to to go through all of that well we have two other items uh, that was private pilot well how about recreational pilot so you can get a rec recreational pri pilot certificate a lot of the requirements are the same but as you go 